Last time on Common Sense Soapbox, Bob to the future. Now I can start my own company. Now we find Bob several months later, in the future's future, selling his product. For hundreds of years, man has been forced to endure boring lectures and conversations they would rather not have. And for hundreds of years, we've had no choice but to tolerate the unbearable know-it-alls initiating these one-sided conversations. Until now, I give you the bore no more. Now. The bore no more goes right into your ears and filters out any conversation you don't like while still letting the important stuff in, like sports. Yeah, go sports. And The Bachelor. I can't believe he cheated on Britnax. Today we will be making history by allowing you the privilege of owning this fabulous device for just three easy payments of $29.95.99. Please form an orderly line. Boo! The price is too high. Bring the price down. Um... Okay, how about two easy payments of $29.95.99? One payment of a thousand credits. I'd pay 500 credits just to stop listening to you. I'd pay 600 not to listen to you complain about everything. 500 credits? Ah, uh, okay. I'm not a complainer. You're the one who's nagging all the time. I wouldn't have to nag if you did what I asked. Oh, of course, your royal highness. Oh, I'll but just of course. drop everything I'm the to make sure it's your always every me. whim is You're met such a the joy moment to live you around, decide. Oh, so I can't listen to this. 550, I'll pay 550 for one right now. 600 to use it immediately. 750. I can't take any more. being angry for now. I can't believe we sold out on the first day! I'm really proud of you, Bob. What? I used to think that business owners got to charge whatever they wanted. But man, when I tried that, it didn't work at all. No. No, it did not. I was hoping for a little more, but I guess the customer's always right. It was cool getting to see what people were actually willing to pay for a bore no more. You were really great today. You think so? What? I'm finally good at something. Besides baking cakes, of course. Now that Bob has discovered his comparative advantage, what does the future hold for him? Or is it the past? Find out on the next to last installment of Common Sense Soapbox, Bob to the Future!